So season three is here for Vanguard, kind of. Today we ended up getting our season three update for Vanguard ahead of the actual launch of season three tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern and 5 p.m. in the UK. At that point tomorrow, you'll be able to jump in, download the Warzone update and access all the content that's new across both games, Vanguard and Warzone. However, today's update for Vanguard, a sort of preload, if you will, changed a lot of things already in addition to prepping for tomorrow's game content arrivals. From changes fundamentally to things already accessible ahead of schedule, we're breaking it all down here for you in this video. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below of season three three, what are you looking forward to the most? The weaponry, the Vanguard maps and changes, war zone adjustments, and the new Operation Monarch on the horizon? Whatever the case, let me know down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all things Season 3, whether that be Vanguard, Warzone, the Warzone event on the horizon, and anything COD-related after this first launch week of Season 3. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 teasers have already started, with more on the horizon and likely reveal coming at some point as well. So everything COD-related, we've got you covered. And finally, with Season 3 launching tomorrow, a little reminder if you guys want to support the channel a little further with the upcoming battle pass or any of the items in game you can use creator code espresso in the support a creator function it's entirely optional seriously do not ever feel pressured to do so but if you do tweet me a picture i'd love to shout out some of your generous support in upcoming videos that said let's jump into it now as it stands right now the season three patch notes aren't actually live despite sledgehammer mentioning that these would go live before the update actually went out now they've kind of adjusted it and walked that back a little bit where the patch notes are going to be coming as of tomorrow so what we're talking about today is some stuff that's visible in game that you can check out for yourselves but when it comes to like weapon balancing and things like that we'll probably touch on that briefly in tomorrow's video but anyways that's where we're at here at this but starting out let's start at the very beginning you'll see a new main menu tile this showcasing some of the battle pass customization and also then you'll have a new idle screen to reflect the jungles of caldera ahead of operation monarch now in terms of new items introduced here with this update we see things like our new field upgrade of the trophy system which is unlockable now but honestly was a pretty troll of a challenge for an unlock here whenever it was first introduced in which it ended up tasking with surviving 15 different matches without being killed by a grenade which is kind of the entire reason people wanted a trophy system in the first place there's so many errant and stray grenades that coming out of a game with zero grenade deaths is kind of an achievement in some matches but what is nice is that sledgehammer actually again did walk this back as well in which they stated as of tomorrow it'll be given to everybody for free no challenge associated with it so while right now you may log on and see that there is a challenge as of tomorrow that should not be any issue no barrier of entry here for that so bear that in mind it'll be introduced as well and is kind of visible now it might even be unlockable right now if you have completed that challenge but as of tomorrow you'll get it for absolutely nothing. We also end up seeing that Mateo, our leadoff operator here for the battle pass coming tomorrow, he is visible as an operator, but not unlockable right now. So like another 15 to 20 hours, depending on when this video goes up. The new map and weapons for Vanguard are actually live, but unfortunately only in private matches. They're not gonna be live to actually use in game until tomorrow with that seasonal launch. Again, 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern and 5 p.m. in the UK. Now, as for the map of Mayhem, honestly, I kind of like this one here from the little bit that I played against here getting some footage that you'll see on screen for you this is one of those ones that i think is gonna be a lot of fun if you're somebody that likes to grind out weapons or that fast paced high action stuff because it's a very small map it seems bigger than shipment but smaller than dos house is kind of the way that i can put it traditional three lane here with this cool aesthetic with some good angles and some flow here with it but all pretty close quarters i think the golden gate bridge side of the map is what will really set this up as your only sort of long range play i don't think snipers will be too viable here on this unless you're playing very stationary but again Again, with so much of rotations and the flow of that map, you might not be able to be stationary for too long, even if you end up setting up shop there. SMGs, shotguns, rifles, I think those will all dominate here on this map. Pistols too, if you're playing hardcore, maybe to an extent in core as well, but I think that's where you're gonna see the most thriving here on this map. Overall, I'm actually pretty excited to see how this will play in a live environment. Playing against bots, you can only do so much. It's not really much of a fight, but again, this is live in private matches if you guys wanna check it out for yourselves. Now, for the weaponry, again, available in private matches, you can end up putting on whatever attachments you want here on this entirely playable with it this is something that both of these thoroughly surprised me to be honest with you the m1916 i still don't know if this will have a place in the warzone meta whenever it comes over as of tomorrow but for vanguard I absolutely think this could be a viable option preliminarily here. It's a two shot most of the time with the right attachments here with a relatively fast rate of fire. It's not too fast. It's not the G43 and it's not also as slow as the Garand. So pop on vital here with this and then you'll end up being able to go to town and take out a ton of enemies. Though if you do want to make it more so like the G43, there is an automatic barrel that will sacrifice a little bit of damage, but it's full auto at that point. Plus with 20 rounds default, again, most of the time being two shots here to kill, well, you can do some damage each life. 
Now, the Nikita AVT, the assault rifle here, this is one that I was really curious how I'd feel with this one. In-game in Vanguard, it feels a lot like the Cooper. Now, I'll have to go in and test the numbers, but whenever I ended up seeing that this was going to be the fastest firing AR in its class, I kind of thought that it would be a bit overwhelming in that fire rate. It's really not. It's actually relatively controllable, but definitely will need to take a little bit in terms of that steady hand, because you will need a few more shots to kill than just two to three. And at a distance, I absolutely can see this probably having a little bit more kick, resulting in a little bit less accuracy. For maps like Mayhem here, that close quarters one, you're absolutely going to be able to thrive with it. So might not have been my best test to do on this. But overall, those new weapons are actually pretty solid and kind of looking forward to ranking those up as of tomorrow. Now, actually live right now are the two melee weapons of the Skull Crusher as well as the Sledge the Skull Crusher was one that we saw from Season 2, I think, at the very beginning, previewed and promoed, but this is now live with the challenge of getting 5 kills with a melee weapon in a single match 15 times, and the Sledgehammer is available for getting a multi-kill with a melee weapon in 15 different matches, so really only a double kill with that, that counts as a multi-kill, so your DOS house, your shipment, maybe even your dome, probably some good maps to play around with that, both, again, are unlockable now, I believe. We also have some previews of the upcoming cosmetics here with the Season 3 introductions. Firstly, probably the most notable is that of the Godzilla versus Kong bundles. The SDG has a pretty badass one here at this, and in terms of build, it's actually one that's kind of worth using from first glance at it. This SDG being a Mastercraft that will highlight a little bit more whenever you end up getting more kills, and the inspect animation actually is the Godzilla roar, which is pretty cool. The Mecha Godzilla bundle, though, is the only other one I've ended up checking out at first glance. Probably the Kong one is there, but just didn't see it scrolling through my armory. For what I believe is going to be the Mecha Godzilla bundle, though, it's an Itra Burst build, which, as cool as it looks, I don't know about the Itra man. Like, I love the design, but probably won't be using it much because it's the Itra. It's kind of a subpar weapon. Other cause Cosmetics that are seen here, though, are the Norseman STG blueprint from that major two viewership reward. That's live now. Pretty sure you can equip it and add it to your playable rotation if you're an STG player. Some battle pass blueprints are visible in the armory as well. Not equipable just yet, though. And then we also have some new ranked play ladder rewards. We end up having a couple of blueprints here for the Automaton and the MP40, which is something that these actually look to be reflective of the competitive builds, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a little bit since I've checked the actual builds and class setups the pros actually use, but they look to be on par with this and certainly are way more close to the competitive builds than say when we got the HDR blueprint for COD champs for Modern Warfare. So that's definitely nice to see. And then we also have two new season three ladder rewards in terms of overall universal camos for those that grind out ranked play. This being your ladder champion and veteran camos. This one's reflective of an orange design, but don't get too excited here. It's the same exact patterns as season two's camos, just different colors interjected into them. But overall, if you're looking for what changed out of the update you had to download for Vanguard today, this is about it. It. Again, everything else will be coming as of tomorrow, a rank refresh, new battle pass items, new operators, new weapons in a live and public environment, something you'd actually use in your matches outside of just private matches, new shop bundles, and what I'm most anticipating is some weapon tuning as well, along with some other bug fixes. So while a lot of this is sort of predictable in a sense, this update actually did bring forth some things that you may not have expected to see, which I'm definitely cool with. Now, overall, we'll see how everything goes down as of tomorrow for an overall launch of a seasonal update. I still think this is kind of lackluster only one mp map makes me a little sad to see but that's where we're at here at this wanted to fill you guys in if you guys were wondering what changed as of today but again make sure you stick it here for tomorrow when everything goes live across vanguard and warzone we'll fill you in with absolutely everything you need to know so make sure you stick it here on the channel let me know your thoughts down below if you guys enjoyed the video you're looking forward to anything in particular whatever the case drop it down there and if you guys did enjoy the video drop a like on the video and if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things vanguard warzone anything season three related and it seems like Modern Warfare 2 stuff is going to be happening very, very soon here. So stick it on the channel for absolutely everything. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.